In singles play, there are parts of rallies where neither player is clearly on the attack. During these periods of neutral play, both players should aim to move their opponent around the court in order to exploit any space they create. Patience is an important part during neutral phases of play. Straight shots on the whole allow you to stay more in control because they involve recovering to a base that is closer from where you have hit your last stroke. Of course, this does not mean you should not use cross-court strokes, but you should be confident you can position yourself to deal with your opponent's reply. During neutral play, use the corners of the court to move your opponent around. Against players who do not recover well after each stroke, consider making them travel long diagonals across the court. However, beware this tactic, one, involves you hitting cross court, so be sure you can cover the reply, and two, may not be good against an opponent with good straight line speed. Forcing an opponent to change direction is a good tactic to make a player off balance. This can be achieved by forcing them to turn, as shown here by the nearest player, or by returning to the same corner, as shown here by the player on the far side. Moving a player away from an area of weakness, then attacking that area, can be a useful tactic. In this example, the near side player hits to three corners, eventually exploiting the forehand forecourt of their opponent. Once an attacking opportunity has been established, there is often an increase in pace. In this example, the far side player responds to a short lift with fast backward movements and hard hitting downward shots. The more under pressure your opponent, the further forward you should make your base. Here, the near side player has played a tight, early net shot which pressurizes their opponent so they stay further forwards. When the shuttle is behind you in the rear court, a good length clear can bring you back into the rally. Cross court clears can also be used, but this is riskier as it is more difficult to hit a good length and it's harder to cover the next shot. When the shuttle is behind you in the rear court, a pull drop shot can bring you back into the rally. This has the advantage of restricting your opponent's ability to attack. The drop shot should be placed a little deeper in the court to restrict your opponent's ability to play tight to the net. A cross-court block off a straight smash means the follow-up is more difficult for the player using the smash. A straight block off a cross-court smash means the follow-up is more difficult for the player using the smash. From the forecourt, lifts should be of a good length, with sufficient height to clear the opponent's racket and allow enough time for the lifting player to recover their position. Straight lifts are easier to recover from than cross-court lifts, as the base required to cover the next shot is closer. <laughs> 